All right, in this example, we are going to transform the sine function that we just graphed in the last video. So if you're not sure what I'm talking about when I say sine function and graphing, make sure you check out that first one. Uh, what we want to do is we want to sketch the parent function, and then we want to use uh, this table to graph this new function in another color. So we're going to graph y equals 2 times the sine of theta. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put down uh, my parent function, and we did that in the first video. So uh, let me just throw some labels down here. So that's going to be... Uh, 1, I'm going to take this up to 2, uh, negative 1, and negative 2, and let me just hit the x values like this. All right, so now that I've done that, uh, let's put down what the parent function looked like. So I like to remember it as um, I start at my, uh, I start at the origin, and then I go up to my max, back down to my midline, down to my minimum, and back up to my midline. And then going the opposite direction, I just do the opposite. So uh, going negatively, I'll go down to my minimum, then to my midline, then to my maximum, and then to my midline. So this is my uh, parent function. It looks something like this. Now remember, all these, these y values are the y values of my unit circle as I travel around uh, and change that theta. So um, if you're not sure where, these, where this curve comes from, make sure you dig back into that first video and really make sense of it. Okay, so this is our parent function, and now we're going to go in another color to, um, to graph 2 times the sine of theta. So actually, I'm going to use the same x values that I did here before. So let me type in, or write in rather, all of my x values, or theta values. Okay, now that I have all of these x values, or theta values, let's uh, evaluate to find the y. So um, if I want the 2 times the sine of negative 2 pi, I uh, think about, well, what's the sine of negative 2 pi? That's equal to 0, and then I double it. I multiply by 2, so that's going to be 0. If I want to know what the 2 times the sine of theta is when theta is 3 pi over 2, I look at my parent function, and when theta is 3 pi over 2, uh, y is 1, and I'm going to double that, so that's going to be 2. And I'm going to continue on with this pattern uh, by just basically, I'm, make, I'm, I'm causing a, a vertical stretch, and so I'll take all of my ones and zeros and negative ones and just double all of them. So uh, this is going to be zero, then negative two. So if I put down these coordinates, it looks something like this. And as I, sh as I should expect, graphing two times the sine of theta is a lot like graphing the sine of theta. I have just made a vertical stretch away from the x-axis. So I'm basically just making my maxes higher and my mins lower. And it looks something like that. Uh, let's talk about domain, range, period, and amplitude. Domain is still the same. It's going to go forever in both directions. So from negative infinity to infinity, uh, the range, this time my minimum is negative 2 and my maximum is 2. It's never going to go above or below those values. So my range will be uh, from negative 2 to 2. And just as a reminder, these square brackets means that I'm including those values. It actually does touch negative 2. Although my graph doesn't look like it, it does actually touch negative 2 whereas I can't actually touch negative or positive infinity, so in this case, th these are considered open brackets. My period, um, if I still trace that distance from one point on my uh, wave to the other, that x distance is still 2 pi. So that period is still a 2 pi, and this time my amplitude actually has changed because the distance from my midline, the midline would be right in between the max and the min, and the maximum this time is 2. So my amplitude is 2 this time. Notice that that amplitude is exactly what the value is in front of my sine of theta function. So by creating a vertical stretch of 2, I have uh, made an amplitude of 2. Um, all right, so that is uh, a transforming this type of sine function. In the next one, we'll do a different type of vertical transformation.